Woohoo, now it's time for air pressure. So air pressure is a very important thing that, that meteorologists will look at. And so right now, these numbers, it's 1,000, 10, 20, 10, 40, all these big numbers. So the unit actually, the unit of these numbers is millibars. Millibars. Um, it could also be an inches mercury. There's a variety of different units that they use for air pressure. This one particularly is in millibars. And to connect these to the areas of equal pressure, we're going to use isobars. And so this is areas of equal pressure. Good, you can see that. Okay, so I'm using my black pen for this right now. So I want to connect up and look and see where do I see areas of equal pressure. So, hmm, right now one that pops out to me is right here I see lots of 1024s, 1024. So that looks like a circle almost, 1024, 1024, 1024. Huh, I'm drawing a circle. And now, okay, looking all around, I look at 10, 20, 10, 20, 10, 20. Oh, I'm going to draw all those. I got a fried egg over here. 10, 20, 10, 20, 10, 20, 10, 20, 10, 20, 10, 20. Nice. Now let's do our, let's see what's next, 10, 16. So I've got 10, 16 to the west and 10, 16 to the east. Now if I follow those 10, 16s, hmm, okay, I'm going to actually make these separate. So this one's going to kind of go off that way is 10, 16. And this one, 10, 16, 10, 16, 10, 16. Let's connect that all the way up the east coast. We've got this kind of big U shape. All right, let's see what's inside our 10, 16s. Next inside is 10, 12. Hmm, 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12. 10, 12. <gasps> all right, and inside of that, we've got all these eights. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so we've now drawn these two big areas. What does it mean? Well, we are going to be meteorologists and figure this out. So let's look at the numbers. So inside of here we had 1020. And as we went inward, did that pressure get higher or get lower? It's getting higher. 1024 is a bigger number than 1020. So we have an area of high pressure here. Ah, and we've talked about high pressure and low pressure before. So high pressure, I'm going to use my blue pen. Because remember, high pressure, that means it's cold. There's all this pressure, all these molecules, all the penguins are close together. Oh no, high pressure. I'm going to put a nice big blue H in the middle of it. So that's what it is. Whenever you see a big H on the weather map, that means that all they're showing you that that actually is an area of high pressure as they measured at these stations. It's pretty cool. And then over here, do we also have an area of high pressure? Let's look. 16. 12, 8, oh, we're counting down. So if we're counting down, that means that this must be an area of low pressure. And let's put, use red for this, because low pressure is warm. It's like in the lava lamp when everything goes bubbling up. It's a nice red, nice warm, low pressure. That means that right here, that warm air is rising. And oh, which direction is it rising? So which direction? Low pressure. Ah, look, thinking back to those winds. Low pressure rises in a counterclockwise manner. Do you remember that? It's spinning up counterclockwise. So please add arrows counterclockwise. And we call this a cyclone. So a cyclone goes counterclockwise. So this cyclone is going counterclockwise. So there's a huge pocket of low, warm air. It's probably warm. We might be moist. It's coming up from the from the tropics. It could be uh, maritime tropical. This warm air is moving counterclockwise. It's spinning upwards and creating some storms. And now let's look on the other side. This high pressure. High pressure is sinking. It's going downwards, down and down the drain. So it actually is going down clockwise. So the winds in around this high pressure region are going to be wanting to turn more clockwise. And as we recall, this is an anticyclone. Anticyclone moves clockwise. So those things about clockwise and counterclockwise, we can actually see that. We could see that. If we looked at this on a weather map, we would see those winds starting to turn in the counterclockwise manner or in the clockwise manner there. All right. 